The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. How many of you have ever received one of those long forwarded email chains claiming to cure all your problems? We like to set the record straight and stuff my mom forwards me. This is one making the rounds. <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> Stay clear of oral sex because it could harm your baby. Dr. Nita, what say you? I say, I mean, oral sex is sex. So you can get sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, HIV, human papillomavirus, whether herpes, you're pregnant or not. whether you're pregnant or not. But pregnant women have a compromised immune system and so they have a higher probability of getting infections like herpes, like let's talk about herpes for example. So we know that herpes is a virus and sometimes you have an active outbreak, sometimes that outbreak goes away but the virus ne never technically disappears. So what does that mean for a pregnancy? Well, during pregnancy, the goal is for a woman to not be having an active herpetic outbreak during her delivery. So, basically, if a woman gets herpes before she becomes pregnant, or if she gets herpes really early in her pregnancy, then the probability of her child having a problem is very, very low, like less than 1%. Mm -hmm. However, if a woman is exposed to herpes for the very first time later in pregnancy, like the third trimester, then the probability of passing something along to her child goes way up. My issue with this email being forwarded is this is true of any kind of sex. That so if theoretically, if you were gonna give this advice to someone, it would really be to uh, just avoid all sex if you think you're going to be at risk for picking up a sexually transmitted infection. But if you trust your partner and you've been in monogamous with, with them for long enough to have a child and it's halfway through the pregnancy, mm -hmm. that test would have turned positive by that point in time. After a, in, unless someone's cheating on someone, which, can, which at that point you probably should. I mean, then, then you're so, like going down a path of. So here's the thing. I don't personally tell my patients they can't have sex in the third trimester, but that's that's the logic behind it. So people are saying better safe than sorry. But with that being said, in the in the grand scheme of things, 25 to 30 percent of pregnant women will have herpes. A lot of people don't know they have it, but less than 0.1 percent of babies will get neonatal herpes. So it's not like this. It's this big grand problem that we have in the United States. And also, if you have herpes, there are things we do. We can put you on suppressive medicine. Mm -hmm. We make sure you're not having an active outbreak when you come when in. You're pregnant, we you can take yeah, every, if take you, antivirals? If you have a history of herpes, uh, you should tell your doctor because at 36 That's weeks, very we will important. put it's important. We will put you on suppressive medication to prevent an outbreak. And then if you are having an outbreak or if you're having burning, tingling, like symptoms of an outbreak, then we'll do a C-section instead of vaginal delivery. But you are right, Travis. If you are in a monogamous relationship and you are certain that you're not going to get herpes or another sexually transmitted infection, go for it. They are just saying, don't get herpes for the first time in the third trimester of pregnancy. But, so here, don't here, but here's my, the reason I wanted to bring this yeah. up is because this is my problem with forwarded emails. Mm. This this is fear mongering in many ways. This email to me misses the point. I think the yeah. biggest part of this email should be that hey, if you're pregnant or your partner, you know, you're with a partner, you all you should be tested for herpes simplex because what most people don't know is that a traditional sexually transmitted infection profile when they test you, a lot of them do not test for herpes mm -hmm. simplex. Mm -hmm. So partners I, and you'll see it all the time men will say, "Oh, I I'm fine. I don't have it." But the truth is you're probably not being tested for it.